Hey, thanks for joining me. I want to show you very quickly how to hold the drumsticks today. So we start with our basic drumstick and there are four parts to the stick. We have the tip, we have the shoulder, we have the shaft, and we have the butt. You want to hold the stick about four inches away from the butt. And that is the balance point of the stick. And at this balance point, we're gonna build a fulcrum. A fulcrum is a pivot point that allows a lever to work. We're gonna build our fulcrum using a thumb and a first finger. So holding the stick, we wanna put the thumb at that point we just identified about four inches from the end. And we imagine we got a pin or a nail straight through the center of our thumb, right through the stick, comes out the other side. And on the other side of that pin, we're gonna take this part of our finger, the first finger here, this first knuckle, and we're gonna put it on the direct opposite side of the pin. So imagine the pin going straight through. And if you've done that correctly, you build a nice little tabletop there. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty, pretty flat across the top there, okay? Now, the butt end of the stick will hit this meaty part of your, thumb, your, your palm here, okay? It acts as a shock absorber, all right? And then the fingers wrap around very loosely. Now my hand is actually pretty loose all throughout. See, it moves. The only thing keeping the stick in place is a little bit of friction uh, between the stick and my fingers. Now, you know you've built this fulcrum correctly when the stick can bounce very freely on its own, just through gravity and come back with its own power. Now you can make sure that you've done this properly. I've seen this video, uh, Tommy Igo did it in a video of his, you look at your hand, at the open part of your hand, and you watch the stick fall away. And if you can visualize this for a few minutes a day when you first start, you can understand how the stick is supposed to move in that fulcrum, and then you're able to translate it here. Now, if you're playing match grip, you do the same exact thing with your left hand. It's that simple. So, thanks for joining me. You can get more videos at christianjohnsondrums.com. I really appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.